Vintage California from Cliff Family Winery. About 16 bucks for one and a half liters, so you get two bottles, about eight bucks a bottle. Um, I just field tested the field tested the Chardonnay that these guys make, and uh, took that out to the um, Summer Solstice Festival, 20th anniversary by the way, um, which raises money for charity. And it's a Philadelphia area uh, music festival that my band, the Steve Liberace band, has been playing for a long time. This was the 20th year this year, but we haven't been playing it that long. But we've been playing it since um, since it was performed in the backyard of the guy who runs the event. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, check it out. Waycool.com. That's W-A-Y-K-O-O-L. Dot com. Click on Summer Solstice link and you'll get all the info. It's an awesome time. So each year, um, that's held in June and it's usually hot. Um, it's about almost 90 degrees this time out. And so, you know, you're packing beer, you got it in the cooler. And so I thought, well, we'll grab the Chardonnay of this, right? We'll shove it in the cooler and see how it does. Um, I will say this, props on the packaging, because this is really easy to shove into a cooler. It is, um, it's very light. It's way lighter than a Magnum. Um, I recently carried a Magnum in the 95 degree heat, a mile and a half through Manhattan, walking to Penn Station. A Magnum in my arms and a uh, very heavy backpack on my back. That was not fun. Uh, this would have been a lot easier to carry. A um, lot lighter too. They make a lot of claims in the back about the recycling of this lower carbon footprint and glass, yada yada. Um, depending on how you decide to cut that, you may or may not agree with it. Um, you know, depends on how much it's made, uh, how much you factor in transportation costs, yada blah 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 blah. blah. So anyway, um, theoretically, some environmental friendliness. Uh, no question, is good value. Uh, the Chardonnay is very one dimensional. A uh, lot of apricot, a uh, whole lot of fruitiness, very lively, but that's it. But that's kind of what you expect for eight bucks, so it's pretty good. Um, in comparison, uh, Boho and Black Box make Chardonnays in the box wine, bag wine category as well that are pretty decent. This is on par with them, maybe not quite as good as the Boho. That one's probably the, the best value going out there at the moment for my money, but, but pretty close. Um, so the Chardonnay works. It was a big hit. Um, the cab, which I have here, I've tried, and it's also pretty one-dimensional. Tart cherry, um, a little bit of liveliness, so probably pretty decent with food. Um, that's about it. Here's what I don't get, though. So not, nothing against that wine, because for eight bucks, it's a, it's a decent cab. I don't get cab in a box. I don't get cab in a pouch. I don't understand why this variety is being put in this kind of packaging. I understand from a marketing perspective because people know Cabernet Sauvignon and I understand from a bulk wine perspective um, we're having trouble selling some of these grapes whatever it is make some juice sell it off um, make it yourself doesn't go into your premium stuff what are we going to do with it maybe we'll do something like this 
understand that. Cab does not work in these circumstances. I'm sorry. Um, if you want a nice fruity cab, it's, it's fine. The problem is when you've got, um, if it's hot and you're bringing this out to, um, to hiking, camping, a festival like I did, you could, I mean, this thing will chill in like 15, 10 minutes and you can stick it in a stream and chill it. Okay, that's what's great about the packaging. But the bottom line is, in the circumstances where you're most going to use these things, cab sucks. It just sucks. It's either going to, it's either going to come off as way too cold because you yank it right out of the stream or right out of the, uh, uh, the cooler and it's been in there a while with your beers and your food or whatever and it's just going to taste real thin or it's going to heat up in the 90 degree heat and it's going to taste like somebody stuck a bunch of tart black cherries into grain alcohol and it's just going to be a, a, a crappy experience so aesthetically from the pleasure standpoint I don't get cab in this at all uh, I would love for somebody to give me give me Barbera in a pouch give me a half decent Beaujolais the Game in a pouch that'll stand up to the chill and you won't have to worry. In fact, you're going to want it a little cold, and it's going to be fruity and vibrant and lively and exactly what you want after you jump off stage like I did in 90-degree heat, and you're just like, I want something refreshing, and I want to get my buzz on. So cab, just, I don't know. Personally, my recommendation is stay away from that in the pouch. Go with the Chardonnays, and please, guys, if you're out there listening, if you get your hands on Barbera or, or Game or something, more fruity and lively in a red, then yes, please do this and let's see how it comes out. The cab, I, I'm sorry, I, I gotta, I gotta put the survey says on that. Uh, anyway, hope all is well with you people out there. Enjoy your time in the sun, and I'll leave you with a little bit more of the uh, the Steve Liberace band if you can stand it. Cheers. <laughs>